Hi, my name is Mark Evans from Newcastle and I'm the winner of the Sides Create Your Own competition. It means a lot in terms of an Adidas collection and on a personal note, like it, it's, it's up there with like the, the moment, isn't it? Um, the, the added extra of, of just really highlighting not just the missus' story, but probably a lot of people's stories that have suffered with thyroid cancer, then the charity donation is like massively overwhelming. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to be known as that that lad now on, that, that's the pair of trainers, that, that, that's going to be me, but, which is fine with me, the missus is out of the limelight, she's not like, keen on being in there, so I stumbled across the competition uh, online. Um, I developed a, a one relating to a CD, it was like one of the first CDs I can remember and the missus turned and said oh, you should do something more important than that um, something like the thyroid ribbon and later translates that the reason she did that was she was looking at her phone on a thyroid cancer group so I, I pulled together a couple of designs purple was the base uh, pink as the base and sort of just flexed the aqua different different areas um, so I mean the, the thyroid ribbon is literally those three colours so purple at the front up to aqua and then wraps around to the, the pink. Um, when I designed it, I thought of all the different trainers that I've got and the different materials um, and trying to bring together the fact that the missus did so much throughout her diagnosis and, and afterwards she continues to do so. So um, the velvet heel, I really wanted to get that in with a different context to the leather and then obviously suede is the crux of most Adidas original trainers. Um, when my wife sort of started through the treatment after the diagnosis and, and a couple of operations to remove her thyroid, um, she had to take medication, just one pill that essentially made her radioactive. Each hospital that supports that sort of treatment has a, a room solely dedicated to patients going through that treatment. Um, and it's basically just like a living room with a bed in and then a separate kitchen off the side because she's completely radioactive so she can't come into contact with anyone and that was probably one of the hardest things she had to go through because not only is it the kids are around seeing but then for seven days the kids weren't allowed to see her um, and that, that's where the, the sort of charity link comes in the charity that we're, we're pushed for is the Butterfly Thyroid Trust who, and they're the guys who develop those rooms and, and make them as, as homely as possible. And that was that down to the missus, she obviously lived and breathed it um, and that, that was what she wanted so that was, it was the least I could try and do and luckily sides have, have sorted it and I'm again overwhelmed and totally over the moon. I, th I think the story being important is, to be fair when I first put it together, the story was important to me one of the misses but irrelevant to anybody else um, and I didn't realise how actually how important it was um, like me and the missus have, have had messages from people we've never spoken to before who have suffered with thyroid cancer men women kids and like you don't realise that it's like that's how important it is like people are living and breathing it on a daily basis and it is one of the ones that people are very unaware of what I thought was important to me personally he has given the response it got important to a lot more people as well.